It's been a long time since we've had any news on the Crisis franchise. It started out in 2007 with the first game. It was known to have some really high visuals for its time, and you needed a really good graphics card to run it on the highest setting. So there's that old joke or meme, but can it run Crisis? Then in 2011 we got Crisis 2, and in 2013 we saw the story end with Crisis 3. So for about nine years, the story about the Saf aliens, the nano suit, and Prophet remained closed, up until recently. On January 26th of 2022, Crytek announced on their social media about a new project they are working on. The caption first read, "It's time to join the journey and be the hero." The teaser trailer shows a crumbling, destroyed city, but during a few frames, something is shown very quickly. We can see the nano suit helmet, but it looks heavily damaged. The end of the trailer shows a number four at the end. About an hour after their original post, Crytek on Twitter confirms what we all think is coming. They said this: "We are excited to announce we're working on the fourth installment in the Crisis series. We want you to join us on our journey and become the hero you were destined to be." Watch the teaser. And read the blog post for more information on the journey ahead. Then, over on the Crisis blog site, they have a post that gives a little more information on what's going on. Here's what it says: To everyone in our amazing Crisis community, and to all fans of the franchise all around the world, we have a special announcement to make just for you. It's something you have been asking us for a long time, so it's now finally time to confirm. Yes, a new Crisis game is happening. We are so pleased and excited to bring this news to you, and we really can't wait to reveal more details about what lies ahead. Right now, the game is in the early stages of development, so it will be a while yet. But we wanted to bring you the news at this time, as we are so hyped for the future, and to let you know that we will be listening to our community. Crytek has a proud history. Of working with our community to develop the games you want to play, Crisis is incredibly important to so many people. It's beloved by gamers everywhere, and some of those working in the industry today are doing so because of the original game. So we want to make sure the next installment in the franchise lives up to all your expectations. Make sure to join our socials and get involved. As development progresses, we will release more details when we can. But in the meantime, know that our dedicated and talented team is working hard to bring you a truly next-gen shooter. They also mention at the very end that they are hiring people to work on the next chapter of Crisis. So head over to their website if you want to apply. I am so happy that Crytek is going to bring back Crisis. I had so much fun with the story mode, the graphics, characters, plot, and music were so well done. Even though the game did not withstand the test of time, I always thought Crisis was such an ambitious project. But the best part about it was the multiplayer, specifically Crisis 2. It's where I spent most of my time, and this was back from 2011 to 2013. I was also juggling the game Aliens vs Predator from 2010. Crisis 2 reminded me of playing as a predator with enhanced speed. Jumping higher and having more health points and thermal vision. The multiplayer mode had a reboot system similar to the prestige system in Call of Duty, where you reset your character, gain a new rank icon and emblem, and unlock all the weapons and challenges all over again. I was on the fifth and last reboot on Xbox 360, and so close to reaching the very end at level 50, but I was stuck on level 44. And this was when the player activity just suddenly dropped, and then there was nobody left to play with. You can still play Crisis 2 multiplayer on Xbox 360. It's still working. It's just there's never any people in a lobby together to play with. You can still join a session that already started if you can find one. I did play Crisis 3 a bit on Xbox 360, but I did not like the very large maps with those giant mechs you can get into. I think they were called pingers. It was a new addition to the game, but I just prefer the nano suit battles from Crisis 2. Crisis 3 did make some changes to balance out the modules and abilities, but I felt the action happened less frequently in Crisis 
I really miss playing Crisis 2 multiplayer online. It gave me a lot of enjoyment during that time. With the news of Crisis 4 being announced, it would be great if we saw a surge of players return to both games on all platforms. But I'm not sure if the multiplayer is still working on PlayStation 3, but I did read that Crisis 2 and Crisis 3 on PC or Steam does not work anymore since the hosting services got shut down a long time ago. However, some people on certain message boards are saying you can still play multiplayer on PC with Crisis 2 and Crisis 3, but since I don't play either one of those games for multiplayer on PC, I have not tried so I cannot confirm and tell you it's working or I cannot tell you how to get it to work. But if you can tell me if the servers are up, then tell me in the comments section. So anyways, that's all the news for now. I'm going to leave links to a few montage videos of me using the air stomp in Crisis 2 and Crisis 3. They are older videos and not the best quality but at least it's something for now. I will also leave links to two lore videos about Crisis. What do you think about this news? Are you excited to see Crisis 4 in development? Put your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.